if you will. I know you all work at jobs, got to be politically correct, can't laugh at anything. We're going to jump those chasms of political correctness tonight. We're going to start easy, just an easy jump, just like jumping one or two cars. Work our way up to the bigger stunts. Here we go. Last time I met an old Mexican man, or as I call him, a senior citizen. <laughs> Big old people over here, this Chuck Norris, coming back to television at age 62. He's in a new show called He's in a Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Hot chick at a hockey game. I always get a Zane Boner. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna ramp it up this next couple of jokes. This is like five or six cars. It's a little tougher here. You guys are ready for it. Last night I had a dream. My dad went to heaven. First person I met in heaven was Anne Frank. And she was pissed off. <laughs> And she's pissed off at me, you know, because she knows that I read her diary. <laughs> I got all offensive. I was like, you should have hit it better. <laughs> and I felt bad, you know, because hiding is not her strong point. <laughs> Heard a little moaning on that joke. These landings are really easy to pull a stick out of your ass. You know, you know geologists have been trying to figure out who built the pyramids for thousands of years. I think it's the same people building pyramids today. The gay male cheerleaders. Couples, I saw one time. You ever see one of these couples? They look like a brother and a sister. You know what I mean? They're black. Oh. <laughs> Alright, people. I just explained that joke. People got all touchy on that joke. They don't get it. That joke is just a play on words that black people sometimes refer to each other as brother and sister. If you thought it's because they all look alike, that's your racist shit, not Stevens. <laughs> here we go. He's a little hard. It's a, it's a big finale. We're getting close to here. These are, next jokes are like, it's like jumping 18 school buses in Kentucky. <laughs> Extra difficult to find 18 school buses in Kentucky. And they say you cannot love someone else unless you love yourself first. That's why I try to love myself three to four times a day. I believe the French call it a menage à moi. Never had a threesome myself, came close once. I had sex with a pregnant woman. I sure hope she had a girl. childhood, you doing these dangerous death-defined stunts every night, risking your life. I did. When I was 12 or 13, I had this crazy babysitter, he used to read, you know, read me crazy stories right before I go to bed, scary stuff, Stephen King shit, <laughs> give me nightmares. Finally, one night I got fed up, I was like, hey, can we just get a bedtime story with a happy in it? So she read me Cujo and jerked me off. <laughs> This 
the big finale. Here we go. You guys ready for this? It's me and USA Today tomorrow. A fellow stunt comic died in Cleveland last week attempting this joke, but I think you guys are ready for it. Here we go. I obviously bang a lot of women. I do have a city back home, stays in my mansion, you know, watches over my estate. We have this little tradition, whenever I go out of town, the night before I leave, we always have sex to retain some intimacy while we're apart. So I knew I was coming out here, and the night before I left, I rolled over, I was like, hey, leave it tomorrow. Let's get it on. She's like, we can. I was like, why not? She's like, uh, you know, it, was, it was that time of the month is the reason, right? But that's not what she says. She's got a cute little saying. She's like, yeah, we can't. Uh, Aunt Flo is in town. <laughs> I was like, what? Aunt Flo is in town? I was like, uh, she visit alone or she bring Uncle BJ? <laughs> I was 